and never missed a game due to injury over the final six years of his NFL career. The toughest Bengal of them all, Tim Crumry. It's one of the reasons he will eventually be in the Bengals' ring of honor. On the Bengals' fifth play last week, Joe Burrow dislocated the little finger on his right hand. He refused to tape it up or wear a glove because it would have affected his ability to throw. And despite the obvious pain, he threw for 300 yards. And that leads to our topic in our Who Day conversation this week. Three tough guys in Bengals history. Lap, you're up first. Pat McAnally, Pro Bowl punter for the Cincinnati Bengals. He was also an All-American wide receiver at Harvard. Uh, in 1980, December 21st of, uh, of 1980, we're playing the Cleveland Browns, and, and, and Pat McAnally catches the ball over the middle. Tom Darden just drills him. Would have been targeting today. Would have been an illegal hit. We thought we had a, a real bad situation there. He gets carted off on a stretcher to the locker room. While in the locker room, starts to get feeling back and movement back. Comes back out on the football field, and Forrest Gregg says, can you catch? Can you be a wide receiver for us? And yeah, yeah, I can do that. He catches a 59-yard touchdown pass from uh, Jack Thompson that ties the football game up against the division winner that year, Cleveland Browns. Unbelievable body surfs over a guy into the end zone, a 59-yard touchdown. Pat McAnally, one tough dude. He averaged 15 yards a catch that season, had almost 270 yards receiving. All right, Butch, you're up next. I'm going to do my best Howard Cosell. Toughest bangle? That man, yeah, right. right there. Yeah. Dave Lapham. And of course, we all remember him as the guy that uh, uh, came out with the offensive line in the uh, second coldest game ever played at Riverfront, the Freezer Bowl. They went sleeveless. That was Lapp's idea, so Big Hands Johnson couldn't get his hands all over him. And, you know, you hear about the iron horse, we got the bionic bangle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys were nice enough to give me the obvious answer. The legendary Tim Crumry. When he broke his leg in two places in the Super Bowl, he famously refused to go to the hospital. The paramedics wanted him to. Crumry said no. He sipped the beer and watched the game on TV. I had a lot of outsiders uh, just come right out and say, uh, I don't think you ever play football again. Um, that motivated me. You know, that made me mad and never missed a game due to injury over the final six years of his NFL career. The toughest Bengal of them all, Tim Crumry, it's one of the reasons he will eventually be in the Bengals' ring of honor. Three great examples of tough guys in Bengals history in this week's Who Day Conversation.